and well, I'm still one of the early birds, as you are knowing. It's maybe 11, 11 a.m. And here we have a baby band. And here a wonderful BMW E36 Cabriolet convertible. This is also really beautiful. And I'm loving it with these uh, two-tone uh, taillights, just with only red and white. This one is looking amazing. Beautiful. And guys, you can see here they are doing camping here as well. Just oops for this meeting. I need to pay some attention. But now I'm walking towards this one here, this old camper. So guys, here we are now. This guy is an old Volkswagen LT. So this is not the Kombi. This is the bigger one, not the T3. This is just something else. LT, the first generation. It's a big camper with a big camper roof. And LT means in German Lasten Transporter. So this was the heavy load van. Well, kind of heavy load. I mean, it's a van. <laughs> it's even still having these old um, steel wheels with these typical wheel caps. Beautiful that I'm still having this. Tail lights are of course the same as for the um, Volkswagen Kombi T2B. No, yes, no. T2B. And well, also for the Mercedes Benz Transporter, the T1 or TN, uh, the Bremer Transporter. So, well, some parts were shared a lot. So, back then, this was just something. Most probably that just one piece was sold to any company. So when the sign about the taillights was not this big of a matter. So in the background is the martini racing thing again. But here guys. Oh no, that sounds Talento, Fiat Talento. I'm thinking it was the smaller one, the shorter one. So the short wheelbase of the Ducato. So also of course the Fiat. Chassis, and this is a deadlifts camper. Yeah, definitely short blue base. Just look at this, guys. I mean, for a one big person like as me, this one could be cool to cruise around. So, guys, and here we have a wonderful Opel. Calibra last edition. This was the number 525 of I've already forgotten 927. I'm thinking. And this is the last edition. It had the uh, different spoiler lip. And this car is most likely an original. The owner has bought it when it was 16 years old, and it had three uh, sorry 8,000 kilometers on the clock. And now it's having 100 something. I'm not sure if I actually can remember it. Maybe we can see it. 150,000 guys. Look at this. And it has almost no rust. So this guy is really a wonderful piece. And he's also driving the entire year with it, except when there's salt on the roads. So that's why this car is in this amazing condition. Beautiful big coupe from Opel, the last one. Maybe there's coming one later, maybe an Electro. <laughs> so, guys, and this here is a Honda Civic. You don't get to see them anymore, so pretty happy to see this one. So, look at this. It's really an old one. 
not sure if it's from the 80s or from the 90s, probably from the 80s. Old Honda Civic. And here we have a Mercedes-Benz C180 W202, the facelift. I've had one like this once before. Also nice guy, he's coming from the Lake Constancy from uh, Singen, so this is very cool. From where the, all the people are coming from here, just to here. So here we have a Beetle. Beautiful engine. Only looky looky, not touch. This is most likely a 1302 because of the old dashboard and the old window windshield. And well, like a Tesla, no air cooler in the front, no engine in the front, just only the, the boot. And here's a big Düsseldorf or Camper. Look at the canoe on top. It's a 508D. The facelift with the big plastic grill. And here's an old Toyota Previa. Also haven't seen them for quite a long time. And here is the fireware. An old fire department truck. An 817 the predecessor of the Atego <laughs> and look here the decoration decoration is something that I'm also taking more and more a look about because take a look here that's an old phone and my parents also used to have one like this in the 80s exactly like this one because the most people had one with uh, only three columns and this has four columns of buttons this was the big one and back then you had to rent the phones at the, well, it was called Deutsche Bundespost Telekom, so the German, German Postal Service Telekom Department. Previa. And here beside the Previa is a Ford Transit. So this was the last edition when it was still, um, still very popular, so this was the last generation. After that came the Mercedes, Mercedes Benz with the Sprinter, and the Sprinter has been, well, such a big success. So, here, look at the Düsseldorfer. And, well, we can also take a sneaky peek there because I've seen something yesterday. It's looking kind of like in a boat. Can we see something? Yes, now we can see it. Look at this nice decoration, but I'm guessing people are inside because it's opened. Yeah, I'm also hearing voices. So let's go on, and here's an S124, Mercedes Benz Estate, also in a beautiful color. And this is also already the facelift, and it was really called the E Class. Beautiful. And here an Opel Astra F Caravan. So this is the estate guys. You also don't get to see them this often anymore. You still saw many of them in the past few years, but nowadays they are also most likely gone. I mean the first ones are also going to get into their 30s. And here guys are baby bands. And here is the Opel Astra um, G, so the successor of the other one, but I'm liking more the F. And here's an old T3 VDAP combi, uh, combi, as you're calling it in English. You're calling them for Webus. So this is special edition Magnum, beautiful. It's Dixie toilet. I've seen this mobile service yesterday at their uh, concert of this uh, band here. 
with the strobe light switched on. So, and here we have an old Volkswagen Golf Mark II in blue, very low with kind of tiny wheels. Well, a classmate of mine, a good fellow of mine from the old days, he also had one like this in the same color and also with, with such kind of wheels, not the exact same ones, but well, very similar. But I'm remembering that he sold it to another guy from the school back then. And this guy has unfortunately crashed it at a turn and then, well, the car was totally broken. So it's definitely not this one. And this one is coming from Erfurt, so from Thuringia. Very amazing. And here, guys, we are seeing two Bremer fire department cars, so Bremer Transporter from Mercedes Benz. So it's their T1. It was also quite popular, but not as popular as the Ford Transit or later the Mercedes Benz Sprinter. But well, as you have seen, the taillights are like as for the um, for the LT from Volkswagen and the Volkswagen T2B. These are also very beautiful transporters. I'm, I'm loving them. They are also very cool looking. But they have an odd uh, sh uh, shifting system. It's not... Uh, the f so the first uh, gear is on the bottom left side, so different than usual. And here, guys, is an old Ford Transit. Not sure if it's the facelift or was it already called Mark II, I'm not 100% certain. But at least I'm thinking this is the newer one. Uh, but I've also seen the old one, well, this one is pretty dirty. Seems like it hasn't been washed for quite some years. But well, that's something you can still fix, I would say. But of course this means lots of manpower. Yeah, and this guys is really the facelift or is it already Mark II? I'm not sure about if this was already called Mark II. Here in background, here the green one, you can see this is the, for sure the Mark I, the, the pre-facelift. So guys, here you can see it, Ford Transit, also very beautiful. And what I've heard about the story of the Ford Transit, then it was like what also made the Mercedes printer so popular because suddenly you have a big van that is as fast like a car. Beautiful. And guys, here we have a wonderful Opel. Escona A. This one here is the Saturn or Saloon. Design wise, I'm thinking that my fellows from Australia may think that this is looking kind of like the uh, Holden Turana, but it's still a little bit different car. but looking really very similar Opel Escona 16 and as far as I know it was first planned the first plan by Opel has been to let this one become the Opel Cadet C but then Volkswagen had its success with the Golf and they were knowing that this car is probably too big to compete against the Golf, so they decided for the Opel Cut at Sea instead. And in between, they sold the old Opel Cut at B as the Opel Olympia A. 